Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be just me at work, um, just doing my client's hair. Um, so if you would like to see this video, go ahead and keep watching. This is my first client. Um, her hair is natural. Um, she's um, been wearing extensions wigs for a while, um, but she has finally decided to let her hair out. Um, and here I'm just spraying some setting lotion in her hair and just preparing her hair for a roller set. And I also use a leave-in conditioner made by It's a Tan to give the hair some added protection until the next time that she comes back. And here we are just trimming her ends. Um, these are definitely not meant to be tutorials, but if you guys would like to see something in particular, I def definitely can do that. Um, just let me know down in the description box. And I also will be leaving the products that I use in the description box also. And here we are just rolling her hair on the purple rollers. And we normally just set her under the dryer until she gets dry, medium heat. Um, she doesn't really like the high heat dryer, so we do medium heat for about 45 minutes. And then we go ahead and use a warm flat, flat iron to silk her hair out. And here she is wet and here she is dry. We'll just be taking her rollers out and styling it. And here is my next client. Um, her hair is natural, but it's naturally straight. So we just put mousse in, set motion, leave-in conditioner, and she's my only client that I blow dry pretty much. So we just blow dry her hair straight, and then we go ahead and put hairspray in it, as you can see here, and then we go ahead and curl it with either the flat iron or the stove iron, depending on what type of curls that she wants for that day. And I'm just showing her basically how her hair would look similar um, when it's finished. She wanted that mohawky kind of look with the sides um, curled straight. And as you can see here, I'm just finishing up with the last curl and I will be putting a little bit of um, hairspray on to finish and a shine sp spray. Um, the hairspray is a chi and it's a flexible hold, so it will allow her to um, fluff and style her hair um, throughout the week. And then I'm using my large rat tail comb to feather and blend the curls. This client is getting a demi color all over her hair. And here I have a thick conditioner in her hair um, and I am just trimming her ends curly. So that's all I'm doing here is just trimming her ends with the conditioner. So it's kind of like you get a deep conditioner and a trim at the same time. And um, here I'm just pulling up the top part just to kind of get those dead ends off the top so there won't be any damaged hair um, in the crown area that it's um, trimmed and healthy and even all the way around. And here we rinse that conditioner out and now I'm just applying some leave-in conditioner, which is really like a rinse out conditioner for natural hair. Um, it's something a little heavier than what I use for my relaxed clients. And here I'm just two strand twisting, two strand flat twisting her hair wet. And she's gonna leave those in with the flexi rise at the ends. And she took those out, I think like the next day or two because she went on like a road trip or something like that. So that's all I'm doing here is the two strand flat twist. And as you can see here, we're just finishing those up. Um, sometimes I like to do zigzag parts or part with my finger, um, depending on how thick the hair is so that you will not see the parts in the hair. But her hair was pretty thick, so it was okay. And here I'm just taking out the Flexi Rise. She is dry. Um, I'm gonna put her back under for another 10 or 15 minutes or so to give the ends time to dry since they were on a Flexi Rise. This is my next client. She um, has a relaxer. She was just getting washed and rolled on the mesh rollers. Um, I think she also was going out of town, so she just wanted a little tighter curl than normal. And here she is dry, and I'm just using the stove iron to um, curl the parts of her hair that I did not roll. 
and then any other curls that needed to be reformed with the curl and iron, I am doing that also. But the rest of our curls, I did not put heat on those. And here I'm just pulling out her curls, just a little finger pulling them and just styling her. And I used a shine spray and a tiny bit of hairspray to finish her out. This is my next client. Her hair is the natural. Um, we were just washed, conditioned her, used the Isatian conditioner, and I set her straight down. Um, this is her texture right out the shampoo bowl. She doesn't have any chemicals, any colors, just her natural texture of hair. And here I'm just combing her through with a big tooth comb and getting her hair to be as smooth as possible. I used a leave-in conditioner and a setting lotion. And I'm going to use a big tooth comb first and then I'm going to go through with a smaller tooth comb to totally flatten and set the hair. And the hair is not touched until it's totally dry. So not to disturb the set, which will keep from having any frizz or, you know, keep the hair from blowing up or anything like that. Here I am just smoothing and silking out her um, hair to set it straight and we're going to iron her out after she gets dry. Just making sure all the tangles are out. And here I am clipping up her ends because I like the ends to get dry first and then take them down about 20 minutes before they're dry and let the rest of it get all the way dry. I do not blow dry um, hair like this whatsoever because it just causes that's a whole nother video. Anyway, here she is dry. Um, just showing her texture dry as you can see she has plenty of shrinkage and here I am ironing her hair out um, I use the various uh, heat protective sprays I will list those products down below there are two Aveda products I use and I also use a heat protection spray along with the leave-in conditioner when they're wet so there are plenty of protection um, products that I like to use on the hair throughout the process as you can see her hair is very very long her hair is very soft um, all of my clients after I shampoo and condition them maybe I'll co-wash them um, depending on the hair texture and the style that they're getting their hair feels like butter like I like to make sure everybody's hair is soft and uh, manageable and you know it's easy to comb out wet and that makes it easy to comb out dry and I when I am ironing out the hair, I don't like to do any more than two passes over the same strand. Um, if I do, it's on a different spot of the hair, not repeated on that same section um, because I don't like to, you know, for my clients to have uh, heat damage. This client's hair is texturized. She does have a texturizer. Um, and this is the state of her hair after it's been shampooed and conditioned. And we're just going to um, roll her up on, I think she gets like the biggest rollers that I own. <laughs> so we're just rolling her up all over and you will see her hair um, after it's dry, how the rollers straighten the hair. So this is the technique I use for a lot of my natural and texturized clients. As you can see here, we are putting heat to her roots, just smoothing out her roots. Um, she doesn't like a lot of heat on her hair, um, so I don't like recurl the curl or anything like that. Um, because actually when she goes to work out and her hair swells a little bit, it actually looks perfect because her hair is so soft and fine. So we're just going to do that for every curl throughout our hair. And here I am snipping a client's ends. Um, she is at the end of her transitioning phase. Um, so she just started wearing her hair curly. I'm in natural state. She kind of goes back and forth. Um, but she actually is going out of town where it's going to be very, very hot. So she didn't want to wear a straight style or a roller wrap or curls or anything. So I'll have her back on again where she will be getting her curls and things like that. Um, her straight hair curls. 
Here I'm, I have a conditioner in our hair. It's a really thick conditioner, the same as I did for my client before that got the color. I am just detangling her hair um, because she had her hair curly. So she had a lot of tangles. So this is a much better way to detangle the hair so that you won't pull the hair or break the hair or, you know, any, necess any unnecessary damage to the hair. Um, in here, you can see all the white is gone. So we just rinsed all that out. And now she has a leave-in conditioner, which is really a rinse out conditioner in her hair. Um, that is okay for naturals. And here for her style prep, I am just parting out her mohawk in the middle and I'm going to be twisting her hair up on the sides. And here I am defining her curls, kind of like a wash and go in the middle of her hair. Um, I make sure that it's soaking wet. I spray it with a mixture of conditioner and water that I mix together. It's about 85% water and 15% conditioner. Um, and I also am using a jam custard gel to help define her curls and just give it a soft, but a little bit of a hold of a cast to it from the gel. Um, but the conditioner underneath the gel helps it to not be so stiff and hard or flaky. So here I'm just defining her curls and then scrunch um, because she has worn her hair straight since she started her transition. So here I am just scrunching her curls, but it was very easy to get that curl pattern. And here I am applying a Jamaican black castor oil that is a mixture of coconut oil in it so that it's not so heavy and sticky because her hair also is a fine texture, but it looks very thick, but you know, we've um, gotten it to actually get a lot thicker since she's been coming. So um, here I am just twisting her uh, twist on the side together and I am going to do the same for the back twist and here I am intertwining them together to just create a cute little it's kind of like an infinity knot if you've seen that infinity it looks like a number eight um, that they use in jewelry um, and twist those together and bobby pin those down in here I am just taking a pick at her roots to um, give her some lift and volume for her mohawk and um, but I am not bringing the pick all the way through. It's just to get volume, but we're definitely leaving the definition for her um, wash and go curls. So she's going to wear it like that for a little while. You can see she started to get excited and get up at the chair. Um, next, I'm kind of doing the same thing, but the opposite. Um, this one, I am just setting her hair with flexi rods in the middle and then the outsides I am combing um, smooth to do the braids. And here I am doing the braids on both sides. I really like these braids. If I had enough hair, I would um, do this for myself. It was a really cute style, I thought. Um, so here we are just pinning her, um, the ends of her hair um, so that they won't just be hanging out, just kind of concealing the ends. And here I am pulling the flexi wire curls apart to create volume and we're all done and here are the finished styles of all the people who got their hair done that day thank you guys so much for watching my video please subscribe and come back and see us thank you